body has definitely become a buzzword within uh, the, the sort of aging field. Um, and the reason for this is because NAD is, is it's found in all of our cells, including our skin. And it's very important um, when it comes to aging because it's very important for producing cellular energy and also for empowering cellular repair within the cells. Now, unfortunately, as we get older, our NAD declines. And um, this is a problem because if NAD goes down, it means your cells have less energy and they also get less repair. And it's known to decrease with age in every single cell in the body, including your skin, and especially in skin that has been exposed to the sun. And um, you see a, a bigger decrease in NAD in sun exposed skin, as opposed to um, areas of your body that tend to be covered. Now, um, boosting NAD um, basically um, switches back on cellular repair, which can improve skin quality. Um, and also NAD um, increases cellular energy, which again empowers the skin to have better turnover, increased barrier function and, and things like that. Um, and it's not only beneficial to the skin, it's beneficial to every cell in your body. Um, and for that reason, there are a lot of companies out there um, that are, are trying to boost NAD. Um, my company is a supplement company that boosts NAD. Um, but this, this specific question is, is all about skin um, because we have started to see um, a lot more companies that are advertising skin creams with NAD in it. Um, there are quite a few different ones and um, they all have a slightly different approach. Um, some companies that I've seen, um, they just put NAD into the cream um, and say, you know, NAD is a good thing. Let's put it in a cream, put it on our face and hopefully it'll get into the cells and do a good job. Now, I would say for those those approaches, definitely doesn't work. Um, NAD is, is very unstable. Um, it does not survive well outside of the body. It doesn't survive well outside of the cells. Um, you know, you can't just pop, pop it in a cream and hope that it's still going to be in good shape and actually get into the cells. The other thing is NAD is a very big molecule, which means that even if it was still intact, um, it really would struggle to get through into the deeper layers of the skin that it needs to be. So other companies have took a different approach and what they do is they use what we call NAD precursors, um, which is like taking um, the building blocks that are needed to actually make the NAD um, because inside the cells, the cell can then stick those building blocks back together to produce the whole larger NAD molecule. Um, Again, um, the data out there to show that these, these, these molecules actually pass into the cells um, is, is very sparse, especially for things like NR and NMN. Um, I personally haven't seen a, a lot of data to show that these precursors get into the skin. The only precursor that has got really good data behind it that does get into the skin is something called nicotinamide. And this is a very common skincare ingredient. So for some of the, the more recent companies that have popped up promoting NAD um, boosting and skincare, um, you know, they say that they're, they're taking the NAD, they're chopping it up into maybe NR or NMN and other precursors. Um, I think if they are having any effect, it's probably because those solutions are containing nicotinamide. Um, and any benefit is probably because of the nicotinamide rather than a more fancy um, precursor. And also, if you look at a lot of the data from the companies, you see that the studies they rely on are are studies that are using um, nicotinamide to boost NAD in skin cells, as opposed to actually doing studies on their own product to show that it's actually boosting the NAD in the cells, which is what I was kind of getting at earlier. You've got to be very careful when companies are claiming that they've got clinical data. Is it on the actual finished product or is it on something else? <laughs> um, so I think that, that's my sort of really quick take on, on those you know, companies that are promoting NAD skincare, um, you know, really, and, and I think this is probably sort of where, you know, would say go back and listen to a podcast that we've done all about NAD because we don't have time for it today. Use NAD, whether that actually not to use precursors, it's actually to switch back on your cells own ability to actually make NAD um, because you can put as many precursors as you want into the into the cells you can use nicotinamide you can use nr you can use nmn 
But actually, the real reason why your NAD declines is because the enzyme that actually sticks those building blocks together to form the bigger NAD molecule declines as you get older. Therefore, you can put as many precursors into the body as you want. But if you don't fix the root problem, which is the decline in that enzyme, then you're never going to have any real impact. So the best approach is to try and switch on your cells own youthful production of NAD, and that applies to the skin and to, to everywhere in the body. It's known that the reason that NAD declines is because the fact the NAD producing the factory declines, as, as you nicely put it, um, that, and it doesn't matter whether it's a skin cell, whether it's a, you know, a brain cell or a, <laughs> or whatever cell in the body, a muscle cell, the, the reason it declines is the same. So the way you want to boost it is exactly the same. And we know that nicotinamide or niacinamide, it's sometimes more commonly referred to in skin creams. Um, we know that that is an ingredient that works really well on, in, in the skin. And its mechanism of action is because it's boosting NAD. Although um, a lot of companies, you know, didn't really realize this or, or didn't really talk about it until recently. Now, it, it could be done a lot more efficiently <laughs> if you were putting that precursor in, but also given the cell the capacity to use and recycle it. Um, so I think the best approaches and the, the types of approaches that are now becoming more available are ones that will, you know, take advantage of the, the science that we now understand and start combining things like nicotinamide with um, activators of the enzymes that actually could use the nicotinamide to actually power this repair within the cells. Obviously sitting here talking about topical skincare, but actually everything that we experience, especially in terms of skin health and aging, is ultimately starting inside of us at the cellular level. So really that contradicts that everything that we try and do, which goes from the outside, really we should be starting from, from the inside. So um, yeah, we, we know that taking supplements to boost NAD, such as Nichido, does improve skin quality and skin health. Um, but yeah, often it's one of the, the later effects to be seen as the NAD is almost prioritized for other body systems that may be requiring it more. It's no, you know, it's, it's very well known that often the first thing to go when our health goes is the quality of our hair, skin and nails because the, you know, the body doesn't prioritize it as much.